listen to me, listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. All right, all right, greetings to each and every last one of you, sweet persons and strong and victorious and mighty overcoming name of our soon coming King, Yahshua Muhammad Sheikh, Jesus Christ. I bless you all here on this Shabbat evening, coming in here tonight on the Straightway Truth Radio broadcast. I hope that y'all are doing well and um, that you've been prayed up and that you're definitely ready for the fight um, that's coming our way. Um, especially since we see the social decline and the social ills that are taking place in the society that we live in right now. I mean, things are really bad. Matter of fact, things are going from bad to worse. And uh, it would behoove you to actually uh, stay in the Word, uh, make sure you're good students of the Scripture, uh, and not only just good students of the Scripture, but make sure more than anything um, that you stay connected to the ministry any way, shape, fast, form you can because I just don't literally see too many people out there that are interested in your soul. As a matter of fact, it seems like everybody is trying to do everything they can to police people rather than being sincere saints the way that we should. Um, I just don't literally uh, comprehend today and understand the nature of unthankful man. I just don't get it. I literally, truly just don't. I probably would never will get it either, but um, you know, one day we'll be in the kingdom and stuff and I don't have to worry about getting it in. And, um, but I, I tell you, it's troubling. I hope that you've been staying abreast of the uh, uh, YouTube videos. YouTube videos. I've been gone. As a matter of fact, um, I left on a Wednesday and got back on a Friday. I've actually been in Houston, Texas. Uh, and that's a long way away from here. And um, that's where you mostly seen the videos uh, coming from down in Houston, Texas. I, I wanted to uh, go in on a mission and do what I needed to do. Uh, look at that beautiful granddaughter of mine and then turn around and then um, had to go ahead and get out because we got trumpets coming up um, here. Uh, that's just the way it is. Um, hope everybody's doing well, doing fine, and that y'all encouraged. But I will tell you this. It seems like that no matter where I go, I, I, I see lifelessness, you know, on the faces of people. I, I don't see that people are, are really, truly um, all that encouraged, you know, the way that they should be. Got something in my drink right here. Uh-oh. But I don't, I, I literally don't see that encouraging um, the, the way that you think people should be, no matter where I go at in this world and stuff, it seems like that everybody today, uh, they got something going on, and whatever it is, I had not figured it out. But whatever it is, they got it going on. I ain't gonna be able to get that out. But anyway, uh, it's kind of troubling. It's kind of troubling when you see, especially when you know what Satan has done, and what Satan is doing in the hour, uh, that we're living in. Got it. Uh, because Satan is playing a hardball for the soul. And if I said it once, I said it a thousand times, and I'm going to say it again. Satan is trying to do everything that he can in his power to make you offended. And I'm telling you right now, you need to guard your heart, you need to guard your mind, and if you have any love for your soul whatsoever at all, you better start guarding. You really, truly better start guarding. You better start guarding the things that come out of your mouth. You better start guarding your attitude. 
Oh, you better start guarding the lenses and the eyes in the way that you perceive and see things because all it's going to take is one offense. Do you know that you're only one offense away from falling out of this thing? Just one. Only one. Just one offense. Um, because you never know when you take an offense on something if, there's gonna, if you're going to be able to recover yourself. And if that fence will go so deep, deep down in your soul and stuff, um, if you're going to even make it out. Christ told us that we live in a time, and they was in the time back then, but he told us in these last days that men would betray one another, men would hate one another, and the reason why they would do that is because the love of many will wax cold. Because, of, because iniquity shall abound, lawlessness, the love of many will wax cold. You understand that? And then he gives us a woe. And he says, you know, woe unto you, you people that take offense and stuff. Man, man, man. And, and uh, ill will, envy, jealousy, bitterness, um, sloth, slander, uh, discord. Man, all these things. I'm telling you, you, you have no choice. We, I'm telling you, we are, we are in the race of our lives right now because when we see the moral decay and the spiritual bankruptcy taking place in society, it's clearly letting us know the signs of the time, but the end is just not yet. Not just quite yet, but we're close. We are very, very close. And when uh, we get a clearance that the end is just yet because we're closer today, oh, excuse me, than what the apostle then were 2,000 years ago. And I'm not so sure that when the door of grace does shut, if people are going to be ready. Because I don't think people are really truly preparing their hearts. We just let anything fly out of our mouths. We'll let any attitude come from our wicked, defiled spirits at any time we want, at any end, and with no, no care whatsoever at all. And I'm telling you, you better take heed and pay attention to what all the prophets the Nabi's and everybody who has gone on before us and take diligent heed to your soul. Um, because the, the last stop from here is going to the lake. And I'm telling you, wouldn't it be a shame to be in this thing all this time and learn all this and know all this only to fall away? Ooh-wee. All right. I put out an open challenge to Jedediah Yaya Malika Laka, whatever his name is. And of course, it's amazing how these people go in to attack me. Then all of a sudden they get mute. The reason why they get mute because I think they figure out they're a bit off more than they can chew. And I, I want them to set it up because I'm going to silence all these dogs, all these barking dogs and these pigs. I'm going to silence them. Um, but anyway, that's enough on that. We're going to go to the guest call-in number. I'm not going to be long with you tonight. Guest call number 310-982-4226. That's 310-982-4226. If you like to talk to Pastor Dow, this is an opportune time to call me. Uh, I understand that you may not want a lot of your personal information aired out over the air or something like that, but hey, you've got to get in the pecking order. I am one man, a very busy man. I'm not like the Christian pastors out there. Um, I do want to send a shout out and thank each and every last one of you. I see those of you who are faithful. Yes, I do too. I can tell that you're faithful not only through prayers, but I can see it in your giving. I can see it in your offerings. I know your names. I, I receive your letters of support each and every week. I really, really, truly do. I also want y'all to write down uh, P.O. Box 32, Lafayette, Tennessee. P.O. Box 32, Lafayette, Tennessee, L-A-F-A-Y-E-T-T-E, Tennessee, 37083. Um, if you're going to send something to us, and I'm going to probably send it out in the letter, but if you're going to send to us either by um, UPS, um, FedEx, DHL, or some type of international mail or something like that, you may want to put down, uh, I think it's 506 Ellington Drive, 506 Ellington Drive, Lafayette, Tennessee, L-A-F-A-Y-E-T-T-E, Tennessee, 37083, P.O. Box 32. You want to put P.O. Box 32 at the 506 Ellington Drive, 
um, because we're starting to make a transition from 632 Highway 52 bypass west because of um, um, internal things that are going on that, uh, that I just just simply just don't have a clearance with. But until then, we'll be using that because we've uh, actually paid for the box up for a year. But um, if you want to send a letter, an offering, or a gift, or, or correspondence to Pastor Dow, you send it to P.O. Box 32, P.O. Box 32, uh, Lafayette, Tennessee, 37083. If you send anything by FedEx, UPS, DHL, or some like some overnight carry or something like that, or or, or ground, uh, you may want to uh, write down 506 Ellington Drive, 506 Ellington Drive, E L L I N G T O N Drive, Lafayette, Tennessee, L A F A Y E T T E, Tennessee, 37083. And we're moving on up to the east side. Hallelujah. First calling here tonight is Junior call number 929-929. And before I take your phone call here, Brother Junior, let me go up here and check the board as the routine requires and see how everybody's doing. I'll be right back here in just a moment. So I'm a man of God. He said tomorrow I want you in Africa, guess where I'm going to be at? If I want you in Germany tomorrow, guess where I'm going to be at? That's why I'm not reverend, I'm not pope, I'm not bishop, I'm not deacon, I'm not elder. That's why my name is Pastor Charles Dowell. There's a difference. You hear me, brother? There's a difference. And that's what's wrong with the church today, the reason why it's so powerless. You see, the thing that God is going to deviate from his plan and from his book the way he has always done it, uh-uh, he ain't going to do it. Man is going to deviate, but God is not going to deviate. Jesus said, you come follow me. I know what. Everybody wonder what I'm doing, too. I'm also getting that spirit, too. Dealing with some curses. We're going to get a hold of that thing in a minute. Hey, uh, can you bring, hey, can you bring her right here, brother? Put her right here so me and that spirit can have some altercations here. So anyway, I was surprised that the young man didn't get mad at me. And I told him, I said, brother, I'm sorry, brother. I knew when God had so-called, because <clears throat> we learned cut terminology, called me to preach. I said, I knew what happened. The day he did that, brother, I was ready to leave. See how the spirit put foot. See that spirit, dude? That's that spirit. Now, you remember how I told you that everybody here know that ain't her. We know that, don't you? You understand that, right? So you're at peace with that, right? Well, good, brother. That's good. Amen. Said she couldn't listen to my message because that spirit kept, you know what I mean, won't cut a fool. Boy, I hate them things, bro. I hate them things, bro. Look at them. I hate them. I hate them. Look at them. See it, Pastor? We're going to find out which one it is in a minute. Listen, sister, sit on it. By the way, what's your name, Spirit? Hey, you hear me talking to you. What's your name? Yeah, you got a name. What is it? I ain't. You I ain't what? You're the ruler of the universe. Which one? You rule everything. But it don't look like you're doing such a good job of ruling today. And I'll tell you what, rule of the universe, I bind you right now in the name of Jesus. And I command you to go down until I get finished. And when I get finished, we'll deal with you. And I command you to stop your harassing, tempting, driving, and tormenting right now. You hear me? Go down right now. All right, Sister Linda. You all right? Okay, you just hang in there for a second, okay? Let me get this out of the way. Just hang in there, okay? Hallelujah. See, now that's her. See, that's her. 
you. You know, you sit up here and you think about this, and of course, that was from years ago, and, and don't get me wrong, by any stretch of imagination, we still have the same power, if not, it would probably more likely than increased more than what we had back then. And we still casting out devils, we're still healing the sick, um, still doing everything that Christ says. I just don't comprehend. And I mean, Christ told us clearly, you would know them by their fruit. You would know them. How is it that people are having a hard time still knowing us today? It's just hard to believe, isn't it? Man, I tell you. But anyway, um, we're in the fight of our lives, Israel. We are in the fight of our lives. And whatever you do, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't you let Satan use anything to take you off course and move you. Y'all hear me? Glory to the King. Brother Julian, call number 929 929. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Strip Two Radio broadcast. How can I help you there? Uh, well, if I can get you up there, Brother Junior. How you doing? You up? Yeah, I'm up. You up, brother? Incredible. Incredible. Can you hear me? Yes, I am. You hear me, right? Yes. Yes, sir. We got you loud and clear, Brother Junior. Okay. Loud and clear. Perfect, perfect. Um, but um, you say, who far away who? You say somebody far away, like... No, you don't want to fall away. I said you have to keep yourself from falling away. Oh, okay. Like, okay, cool. Yeah, of course. Cause I feel sudden it's going to get bad, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. It's going to get worse, man. Things are crazy out there. Like, making videos, people making deals against you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That was kind of fool for, before the feast day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, you're right, Junior. Right before feast day. You know, the sad part about it is years ago... I think that guy actually came into the faith by listening to me. Can you believe that? Yup. Yup. And just talking about you. So I talk about you. Like, you know, met him. You know, you know, met him. He listened to you. Yeah. I don't want to talk about you. I can't do that. That's disrespectful. You know. I can't do that when you talk about my father. Man, you know, I, I just don't. You know, I don't understand, Junior. You, you know, we. Especially, I expect all Israelites in this ministry to be very respectful and very honorable. I mean, we can learn something right out of the page of the Muslims. I don't ever want to see anybody a straightway just disrespecting someone and just being dishonorable. We are, we are people of higher character than that. And we need to make sure we demonstrate that type of character, whether it be with here or abroad. And especially when you see the hoary head at first, let me teach y'all something. So, Anytime, anytime, especially if they're over 50 years old, all right, whether you regard them or not, you always have humility for the older people. Y'all hear me? Always. I don't care what you, you always, they, they may miss the mark, they may be talking off in left field. Uh, they may be off the chain or something like that, whatever the case may be. Do not ever dishonor an older person. I don't care what your personal opinion of them is. Y'all hear me? Because remember, one day you're going to be old if Jesus don't come. And you always honor. You never dishonor. You always esteem. The only time that you turn around and you have to turn around and really truly um, defend yourself is, is when the people of honor put themselves in a position of dishonor. Uh, and usually the hoary headed people in this ministry is not going to do nothing like that. I'm telling you. We got Mona Bullock up here again um, and she's been staying in my home. As a matter of fact, though, while I was gone, Mother Bullock was in the home. You see? Now think about that. When Mother Bullock comes to straightway, she got plenty of places she can lay her head. She, she can. And, you know, M Mother Bullock is a true mother, a true mother in Israel, highly regarded and highly respected. Um, and she's just our mother. And she always, all she got to do is just let us know, hey, I'm on my way. And she has a place. She knows that. She has a place. That's just the way it is. Uh, we have extreme love for our people. Our brethren, bless their soul, made a good sacrifice, Brother Scott, and 
And uh, Brother Vernon, there was a Israelite sister that's part of another community that was traveling. Um, vehicle broke down, and they knew straightway. And um, did a lot of direction through me, Brother Scott, and Brother Vernon did the footwork. And they took care of matters. Take care of an Israelite in distress, in need. You know why? Because whatsoever you do unto the least of these, my brethren, you've done also unto me. We take that serious. I don't care what the rest of the world is doing, but we here straightway, we take this walk and we take this calling very, very serious. We know that the king is coming. But that's just how we roll. That's how we bounce. I think in modern day terms. But we are serious about this walk. We're serious about our brothers and sisters. When we call you a brother and we call you a sister, it's no light thing with us. We mean business. You may not mean business with us, but we truly mean business. And I wish that I could get people, Joe Brothers Jr., to really truly grasp this thing to the level that I've got this thing at. I really truly do. If we could all get on that same level, brother, then you will see the words of Christ being fulfilled. By this, all men shall know that you are my disciples by the love that you have one for them. You know what? This is a life of sacrifice. And this life of sacrifice means that you're going to be inconvenienced. That means at times you're going to be tired. That means at times, people are going to call on you at the most opportune time. That means people will need you. Um, and they may not be able to provide anything. Um, but you got to get out of your comfort zone. You're going to be a true Israelite. This is a life of sacrifice. This is a selfless night. That's what this is all about. And this is about laying your life down for your friends. This is what this walk is about. Now, you got most people in Israel that ain't going to lay down their life for, for damn, no damn, no damn about it. They ain't going to do crap. I'm telling you. Um, and they will be manifested. And you will know how to deal with them. Um, but this life and this walk is serious. They that preach it must live it. That's what this is all about. This is what this is all about. And I hope that people are grasping this. By their fruits, you shall know them. Fruit, don't mistake it. You cannot deny fruit. Hey, you may not like the way that I preach. You may not like the delivery of the message. But the message is true. And the message is right because he's true and he's right. But by their fruit, you shall know them. I don't care who it is. You're going to know every man and every woman in Israel by their fruits. And that's all it's doing. Don't you ever forget that. Never ever forget it. Oh, and old, that old um, Whoever know a woman to be in her 30s and be fully grayed head? You know that's witchcraft? If a woman is in her 30s and she is fully grayed? You know that's witchcraft? You know what it is? That is Kathy Smith. That Jezebel, that skirt that is un... She's totally out from under the skirt of her husband. Because that infeminine man, man, it, it, you know, it is a disgrace. And it is a shame for a woman to be getting out there on YouTube in front of a so-called preacher. Running her mouth, flaunting them out. What she needs to be doing is schooling those children that need a lot of special attention rather than getting out there making videos and commenting on YouTube. You can tell that she ain't got time. I mean, well, she ain't got time. You can tell she got all the time in the world. And she ain't doing what she's supposed to do except spreading her fat ass and getting bigger and stuff every day and her fat lip and stuff. But this is the, you know, when you see a woman like this, like Kathy Smith, pity should enter into your heart. Because when you see that, you're looking at the direct opposite of the way that a holy woman of Yah should behave. Makeup can't even help that pig. And she still flaunts herself. I mean, take me. I feel sorry for these people. Literally, I feel sorry for them. And that's all I can do is feel sorry for them. Brother Junior, you done got me stirred up. I don't know what you said, but you got me stirred up, Junior. <laughs> yep. Um, you see you see people like that, gray head 30s, misery, you know what I'm saying? Misery loves company, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yes, sir. Good. 
that ain't nothing good when they like. They, I don't know if they talking about you, but it's worse it's worse the food, worse the production. They don't produce nothing. They don't produce a damn thing. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah come on, man. Yeah. Come on. Like, you think, you think God don't see you? Come on. He sees everything. He could fool, he could fool you. They could fool you for the elders, but y'all could see everything. You know what I'm saying? You're not stupid. No, see, not dumb, man. Come on, this is serious. This, this is so serious. I ain't falling away from this. No, there ain't nothing to go back to. He sees everything. Yeah, I see everlasting greater than anything. You know what I'm saying? All of us. Because we're everlasting. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I can't understand people picking it for years, but they, they, they think God don't see it. Come on, man. He sees everything. Everything. I can't understand that. Everything. Everything. Junior. Everlasting, everlasting, everlasting. Yep. You tell Brother Rand that I want him to be careful with that chainsaw. I want y'all to get down here whenever y'all can so y'all can get a class on how to drop trees so y'all quit hurting yourself. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is serious. So, um, bless you, Pastor. You take, you keep preaching the word. Do you uh, do it for us? Call you to do. Bless the elders, brother. Bless the community has bless all y'all saints of Israel. Oh y'all so much Shabbat Shalom. See we see you tomorrow. All right, my Thanks brother, Shabbat Shalom, Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. You, you be encouraged, my brother. Shabbat be Shalom. encouraged. Stay the course. You too. Same you. You too, Sean. Brother Junior living on the community, Covenant community up there in Kentucky. You know, every time I go to Houston, Texas, I had to get in and get out. And there's no pun intended against anybody down there in Houston. I know that y'all would all love to see. Pastor and Sister Carol, I know y'all would have, but we had a mission. We had a mission. We had to get in, get there and do what we had to do, and get out. Y'all going to see me tabernacles. I have plenty of time. Um, but Brother Mitchell and Brother Greg is doing an excellent job down there in Houston. I mean laboring. And the brother there. They're doing a wonderful job. A wonderful job there. In and I'm proud of them. Um, Brother Josh up there in Dallas. And, and the brother from Africa, from the Congo, Brother James, man. Man, I, Brother James, I want you to know that it's been a long time, my brother, since I have met a brother of your character and your standing. Now, don't get me wrong. When I say a long time, I've got some excellent brothers here, and all of them got character standing. When I mean a long time, I mean like maybe a year or two, something like that. You understand what I mean? But man, I, I mean, I am so, and and I, your ears should have been burning because that's all Brother Mitch and I talked about pretty much when I was down there in Houston this week. Is uh, man, I tell you what, brother, I am. You have such an excellent spirit, my brother. You keep that, and you beware of all these double-tongued serpents. Anybody who even tries it remotely speak against this ministry, you saw. The power, y'all. You got to witness for yourself, man. Don't let nobody move you, man. Because you have an excellent spirit, brother. A beautiful spirit. And your family would do well to follow your lead. I'm telling you, because they don't. They're going to have hell to pay. Because no doubt you are a true Israelite, my brother. A true Israelite. Um, and that's just the truth. Hey, let's go to Minnesota. Call them a 651-651. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straightway Truth Radio broadcast. How can I help you? They're in Minnesota. Hallelujah. Pastor Dow, this is Cody Dan's son. Man, I know that voice from anywhere. How are you, my brother? <laughs> I am hanging in there. Excited for the Shabbat, sir. Hallelujah. It's good to hear from you, brother Cody. Brother Cody. Brother Randy and them up in the Covenant yes. community, man, dropping trees on top of their faces and stuff, man. And we want to train them up in the way that they should go. But they're getting it done. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah, I hope they're being safe and sound in Minnesota. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I hope they're being safe and sound. And maybe we can even get down there this winter and help out. Hallelujah. But, uh, hallelujah. Pastor Al, I just, you know, I'm praying for you. And you give me and my dad's wife. So you give us hope. You know, we, we listen to you uh, every day before work, for breakfast, and uh, you, you keep us pumped up. So thank you so much. And also, I got a question. Sure. Um, you know, you're all about come out of her, my people. Oh, yeah. 
And, you know, I've been listening to you for about about a year. You know, and me and my dad are pretty much alone up here. Um, you know, and as far as getting involved with the community, we don't really know what to do because, um, you know, we're up here. Like, what if, what if we're not ready to, you know, if we're not, like, spiritually ready, how do you know when you're ready to get involved? You know, um, does that make sense? When's the next time I'm going to see you and uh, Brother Dan? This winter? Uh, yeah, willing. We're hoping to come visit uh, you at Straightway. Um, we're planning to, to cut off work on December 1st um, and then come down sometime soon after that. All right. Well, we'll talk more about it. We'll talk more about it on a more personal level, um, Brother Cody. All right? Yes, sir. Um, and then I have one more quick question. Sure. My mom is a staunch Christian, and my mom and my dad, it looks like they're going to get a divorce. Ah. Um, I know, you know what? Stand still right now. You know what? It, it, it's a sad situation. Yes, it's a sad situation because your dad uh, is an Israelite, and your mama is in some very serious trouble because this man loves the Most High. This man is keeping the commandments. Now I know that her Christian doctrine, and you know the problem is she will not obey her husband, and she will not investigate the things that y'all believe. Because she's afraid of change. But I'm telling you one thing. If she misses out with that man as her head, then I'm, I, I ain't got no heaven or hell to put nobody in. But it's not looking good with her when it comes time for her to stand in front of the Messiah. Because she's going to be judged based on her role. And that man fears Yah. Yeah. You fear Yah. And she is in some very serious trouble with the Most High Yah. That's all there's to it. I don't care what anybody says, but you know what? Somebody's right and somebody's wrong. You, both of them can't be right. Somebody's right and somebody's wrong. Right. And if she chooses to dig them heels in and be stubborn and stiff neck and start off, she ain't the first one in history ever do that, then guess what? Hey, <laughs> save yourself. Just stay faithful. But it's a sad situation that these women, see, this is what Western culture and this is what Western society breeds in these women today. That's the problem. You see, because the Bible says wives submit yourselves to your own husband. And it's obvious she ain't doing it. Wives obey your husbands as the most high, as unto the master, as unto the Lord. She ain't obeying. She, ain't, she is in some very serious trouble. Very serious trouble. I don't care what her mind tells her, I don't care what Christian dogma tells her, but she got the answer to the most high based on what's written. And right now she is standing on some shady, shaky ground. She keep going the direction she in, then the pit is gonna be her home. And she can put it in her mind thinking she's getting the glory all she wants. Let her keep disobeying her husband, see what happens. Hallelujah. So I see her once in a while, you know, a couple times a month. And, you know, I, I used to be so close, but now since we're into this, in, you know, now since we're Israelites, I find, it, you know, there's no connection anymore and there's no fellowship. You know, but but you just said we need to honor people who are over 50. Um, you know, so I, I'm just confused on how to treat my mom. Well, um, let me give you an answer. You want the answer? Yes, sir. All right. You honor her. It's kind of like you deal with her with a long handle spoon. You respect her as your mother. But when it comes to keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, if she dishonors you, brother, you can only honor her as much as she honors the father. Is that making sense? Yes, sir. And that's the way it goes. You're a grown man now. You ain't under mama's. You ain't on mama's breast, and you definitely ain't on her skirt no more. You honor her as a mother. You never dishonor and disrespect, but if she oversteps her bounds and forget that you are a man now, if she forgets that, then she's putting her place, she putting herself in a place to get reproved, rebuked, and corrected, and that's not dishonor. 
Because sometimes a uh -huh. mama that is in disorder needs to be reminded of a place. And that's not dishonoring her. Uh, but you remember, you stay tactful. Uh -huh. You stay straightforward with her from the very beginning. Honor her as your mother. But remember, you are a man now. You understand that? Yes, sir. You ain't, you ain't mama's little boy no more. You are a man. Yes, sir. You get it? Yes, sir. Go ahead and change. Now, all right. Uh, bless you, Pastor Darrell. All right. Love you. All right. Bless you, Brother Cody. Shabbat Shalom. You know, I, I know right. it's a painful thing. I know it with all this rebellion is going on in Canada. You know what? Watch this. Watch this. Mother Bullock, can you come on back here for a second? I'm going to let Mother Bullock speak to this rebellious spirit on you you women um, because here's a woman 60 years old, someone that knows the word, knows the scripture, and Mother Bullock going to talk to you daughters of Zion and you women out there who got husbands that fear the most high. You are some rebellious, stubborn, stiff-necked Jezebels, and you're going to lift your eyes up in hell. That's what you're going to do because remember, you're going to be judged based on your role. And you women, the problem is you had too much taste of paganism and too much taste of a heathenism. And that's the reason why you function the way you do with your rebellious yourself. But you better be sure that you're going to lift your eyes up in hell. Because you're going to give an answer to all this rebellion and all this stubbornness and all these Jezebel spirits that you operate in. Mother Bullock, I need you to give a word to these women, all right? All right, let them ask. Go ahead. Shalom, shalom. I found out down through the years that it's good to listen, to obey authority, especially your husband. And if you want a, a prosperous life, a happy life, listen and obey your husband. Because they're not going to direct you wrong if they're a man of Yah. Um, Elder Bullock was a man that walked before the Father and walked before the Father holy. And he was very easy to love and very easy to sit under and listen to. It was nothing that he wanted that I wouldn't do for him. And because of that, the um, Father had really blessed me and the word says for us to obey them to submit to them and it's easy to do if we just die from our ways a lot of times we don't want to die from our ways we want to be in charge and that's uh, that's a wrong spirit we have to submit we ha and and if you're praying seeking the Father's face kill out your flesh flesh will get you in a lot of trouble flesh will tell you I don't have to do this I don't have to cover my head I, I, can, I, I, I have to have my makeup I have to do this you don't have to do anything that, that is flesh you're walking in flesh you have to learn how to walk in the spirit when you walk in the spirit you will fulfill the desires of your husband and the desires of the father you can only walk in the spirit to do this. If you're steady, wanting to have your way, you haven't died at it yet. You have not killed out your flesh. And you kill out your flesh through pray prayer and fasting to get those spirits up out of you. I was in Christianity for almost 30 years. And I pastored for about 12 years. And I had to die. Once I came into this walk and I realized I was a woman that walked in authority and I, I, I had to die from that. And I, I sit back and I looked at myself. I said, Father, tear down everything that Christianity had put in me, tradition had put in me. I let all that go. And I asked the Father, make me new all over again. And that's the way we have to do it. If we have been in Christianity, we have been westernized, 
we have to let this stuff go. We have to ask the Father to take it out of us. If we don't ask the Father to take it out of us, it, it's going to stay there. We got to be willing to let that stuff go and follow after the Father and you'll be blessed. I've, I am so, even though I have lost my husband, but I'm finding myself more wanting more of the Father by being a single woman again. My desires is towards the Father more so. And if you have a husband, your desires is more towards your husband fulfilling his needs. And if you're not doing that, you're not walking in righteousness, you're not walking in the holiness, you're not walking in these things if you want to have your way. But if you want a rich, holy, filled life, so just submit your will. Let your will die and let the Father take over. And you can only do that through prayer and fasting. I, I have, um, I don't have a want for anything but the Father. And it's just, it's, it's just amazing to me. Uh, when I look at the young women, especially the women out there, and I say, Father, help them because they don't even realize how much this world has turned their minds, have, have just got them going, feeling that they want this or they need this or they got to have this. But the scripture tells us to submit. And I think how we have gotten messed up is that we feel like that we have to be loved in order for us to be submit, but the word says submit. So the husband's gonna love us. He's gonna do what the father have commanded him to do. We got to do what the father have commanded us to do, and this, which is easy. If you look at it, we have a very easy role. All we have to do is take care of them and love them and submit to them. They the one got to go out, work, bring in the pay, bring in the money, build the house, and pay for everything. All we have to do is submit to them, take care of them, love them. Our job is easy. Their job is tough. And just raise our kids and love our kids. And we really have a wonderful, beautiful life if we just look at it that way instead of looking at the world. How the world say, oh, you shouldn't have children. That's a burden. We are Israel. And we are, we are to love, submit, and just enjoy life. And we can really do that. And I'm um, looking for past. <laughs> and um, and walk. And another thing I would like to address too is our walk and our dress and the way we carry ourselves, especially our walk. A lot of times we, I'm talking about our natural walk. I'm, sometimes we, 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 we switch a little bit too much on the back side. We need to walk a little straighter. And especially where a lot of loose clothes, that would not show all that. Um, <laughs> that won't show so much of that rolling on the back side. If your clothes is real loose, but when they fit kind of tight, it shows a little bit too much. But the spirit should convict us when we put things on and it don't feel right. If you have the Holy Spirit, they'll tell you, take it off. This don't feel, feel right. So we are to walk in the spirit all the time. And, and we are to make ourselves proud of um, husbands. I remember some years ago, I was with an Israelite group, and this leader was having a hard time getting his wife to cover her head. Mm. And I, I talked with her, I said, you know something, and she, and she loves her husband. I said, you know something, you are bringing disgrace to your husband right. as a leader, not covering your head. And that thing hit her so hard because she loved her husband. She said, I did not realize I was bringing a disgrace because I wouldn't cover my head. So now, when she comes to service, she'll cover her head. 
because she didn't realize that she was bringing disgrace. And a lot of times we don't realize that we are bringing a disgrace when we don't do what we're supposed to do. What we do reflects on the, our husbands. So if if you want to make your husband look bad, you're acting bad, looking bad, that makes him look bad. But if you are walking in the ways of Yah, that makes him look good. That's all I have to say. All right, brother. <laughs> Well, glory to the king. And let me tell you something. So all you old ass geezers out there that think you're going to get in touch with my mother and stuff, you got to get past me. She's already done made it known. Before you even think about getting anywhere near her, you got to get past Pastor Dow. Isn't that something? Huh? Her son in the most high God. You better believe that. Because you got to be some kind of man before you got to, before you hook up with my mother. Ain't no way in hell. You can believe that. Because she is protected by me. And she is protected by the elders in this ministry right here. You, that you can believe. And besides that, she ain't stupid either. <laughs> oh, glory to the king. I tell you. Just the other day, I was, you know, matter of fact, I was driving down the road, and um, Elder Bullock and Elder Bill, you know, they come in my heart. Um, probably, to tell you the truth, it's probably not a week that doesn't go by that those two men don't come in my heart. Um, Nicky Gass has been gone for quite some time. Brother Ernie and, and most of you don't know Brother Ernie. Brother Roger, all these faithful Israelite men. And then Mama Nita, which you ain't never met a more humble woman in all your life. <laughs> and that's just the truth. Man, I think about all these people who have kept the faith all the way to the end. Wow. Just encouraging. Just literally encouraging. It really truly is encouraging. Uh, they finished that course. We still run it. We are still running. Y'all do well to take heed to what Mother Bullock said, daughters of Zion. Uh, it's just the truth. You know, I, I, I was down there and I, you know, she always going to be little Erica to me. Always. Uh, you know, she has a uh, brother Mitch. Beautiful daughter, uh, beautiful daughter, uh, and um, you look at Shay and uh, brother Desmond with that, and you look, I, you know, I look at those two daughters of Zion, I go, wow, that is what women are supposed to be like. I thought they were a dying breed because when you look at from Mama Dow, Mother Beasley, all the way down. To uh, Erica and Shay, you talking about a big? I mean, uh, I mean, you talking about a, a a big gap there. But man, those young daughters are just as humble as those older mothers. It's beautiful. Cause Mama Beasley, I think she's ninety one years old. Mama Dial is ninety. No, Mama Dial is seventy six years old. And. Then Mother Bullock is 60 or 61 years old. And then, you know, we got some in their 50s, you know, early 50s. And then we got a bunch of sisters in their 40s and stuff. But, you know, we got a beautiful thing running here. We are, Israel, and I want y'all to listen to me, we are a dying breed in the midst of this wicked and perverse generation. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, 14, you follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the most high God. And I'm telling you, it ain't going to be. We are a dying breed in the midst of this wicked and perverse generation. We got to maintain the standard. No, yeah, we do. Um, because mothers, our mothers now, you might as well, from 40 years old up, you might as well, y'all mothers, y'all are literally mothers, because it's your example that the younger generation is going to follow. 
Look at some of you that are 40 years old. And look at and see how some of these 20 and 30 year old women are, are just grabbing the hold of you. Because they see your example. And they're gaining inspiration. And they want to be just like you. And of course you look at yourself and go, oh God. They don't want to be just like me. What they see is the holiness that is in you. They want to be like that. They want to see, they want to be, you know, what you've died out to. You're an inspiration to them. Keep striving. Keep striving. Pastor Dow, I'm rough. I'm telling you straight up, I'm rough around the edges. Uh, when I'm preaching and teaching, I'm a totally different man outside the pulpit, but hey, it is what it is. But we got a real good thing going here. We do. Um, faithful brother. Faithful brother lay down their lives. I mean, when I see these brothers and some of the things we have to put on them, man, brother, you gotta go do this. Brother, you gotta go do it. Man, they don't question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And off and running, they go. Faithful Israelites, man. Just, just, man, I can't wait till we get to the kingdom. Let me go to the phone lines here, all right? All right, California, call number 619 619. This is Pastor Dow. You on the Straight With You radio broadcast. They're in California. Eric code 61 now. How can I help you? Sebastian, Pastor Sister Drea. I'm using my husband's phone right ah, now. Sister Drea. How are you doing, Sister Drea? Doing all right. I'm doing good. Um, I, I missed the whole first part of the program. Uh, we're listening together because for some reason it wasn't letting us dial in. So um, I just want to say I love you, Shabbat Shalom, and um, can't wait to see Tabernacles. We're more than excited, so can't so, wait to be there. So, so you going to make it to Tabernacles, huh? Yes, sir. We're going to make it down there. I, I spoke to um, Sister Tama uh, the other day to give her, give her our arrival information and everything. So, so hey, your husband coming with you, right? Yes. Good, that's who I want to meet. You talk to the sisters, I want to talk to the man. Yes, sir. You met him in Kansas City, so you, you'll probably remember his face. All right, good. So, so um, y'all in this, right? Y'all straight up? Y'all serious? Yeah. We serious, Pastor Dow. We, we serious. Good. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. Yes, sir. Can't wait to see you and everyone else. And I, I want to say, um, bless you, Mother Boa, for the words of wisdom. A lot of us sisters need to hear that. Me definitely need to hear every word that came out your mouth. So I just want to say, y'all bless you and can't wait to just see everybody. I'm just overly excited and really needing the fellowship and everything. So where's your husband at? On the day. Hey, where's your husband at right now? He's right next I'm to right me. here. Good. Good. All right, Shalom. Hey, next time that, that your wife or you need to call in, you call in, and then if you want her to say a few words, then you will let her say a few words. But I want to hear from you, brother. You hear me? Yes, sir. All right. Looking forward to seeing you at Tabernacles, all right? Looking forward to seeing you too, Pastor. All right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Glory to the King. I know people, y'all know all this, I understand, I understand, but believe me, we are setting things in order to the plumb line, laying it to the line, hallelujah. All right, hey, New York, New York, big city of dreams, everything in New York ain't always what it seems. Let's go to Brother Mike there in New York, call number 646-646, this is Pastor Dow, you know, Strictly Truth Radio Broadcast, how can I help you there, Brother Mike, are you there, my brother? Yes, sir. Shabbat Shalom. How you doing today, man? Man, we all right. We all right. How you doing, brother? Come on, talk to me. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. I've only been in this for a couple weeks now, but, you know, I had to call in real quick. I had a great time with Brother Felix, um, Brother Andy, and um, Brother Steve the other day. We, um, I went there for um, the Sabbath the other day. It was amazing. It was the first time I really ever did it. You know, I'm getting used to it, but I'm loving it so far. Man, let me tell you what. My brother Felix and his family, that brother Felix, yes, is, he's doing the job. He's doing it. Yes, yes. And, um, and, and brother Enmi, and let me tell you something, brother. Those are true Israelites. And um, 
Whatever they tell you to do, you do it because they will not tell you wrong. Whatever they say to you, even if you don't understand, brother, you obey because they will not lead you wrong. Those are true Israelites. Let me tell you, let me tell you something, um, Pastor Man. It's been it's crazy for me. The past maybe week, week and a half, the devil has been coming at me like crazy. What I mean is been it's been crazy. It's been crazy, Pastor. I've been seeing things that I haven't seen happen to me before in my life. Oh, believe me, like, we know things that happen unexpectedly. It's well, I didn't. I, like, I remember yesterday when you had put up a video about the two um. The two statues in, I think, Oklahoma. Yeah. And the one that was in, I think you said Detroit, I think. Yeah. I told my grandmother about that. She went looking. She was like, oh, my. She was like, it's the end soon. I said, yes, it is, Grandma. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. End times. It's That's what we have. Um, end times. But I wanted to get your opinion on something. I don't want to keep on you on the phone too long. I just needed your opinion on something. What I told you Brother Felix and I talked to Brother Emmy about it. But I, since I'm new to this, you know, I have a wife. Well, you know, we've been we've been on and off for about maybe five years. We got back together maybe about a couple months ago, but she's really iffy about everything. She's not the type. She's not into religion at all. Stop! 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 It's, Time out! Time out! Hard. Stop! Stop! Let me ask the questions. You've been off and on. Yes, That's what you said. Is that right? Yes, sir. All right. Let me ask you a question. Has she laid with yes, another sir. man since you've been off and on? Yes, sir. She has. Yes, sir. She's been with another man. Yes, sir. All right, you turn the page. You turn the page and let her go. All right, that's what I'm going to do. And go with somebody else. You don't need that mess, brother. All right? Okay. All, All right. right, she's already done broke covenant, brother. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You, you move on, shake the dust off your feet. It's time to drive on. You got me? Yes, sir. You got your answer right there. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear. Hey, I'm telling you, brother. Thank you, Pastor Dow. You're welcome. You are more than welcome. And I'm doing it. If you say do it, then that's what I'm doing. Hey, bye. Tell her bye. See you later. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Dow. I needed that. I really all right, my brother. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. I love you, man. Thank love you, you too, my brother. Hey, you coming down Tabernacles? I'm going to try. I'm already looking at my job to see if they give me the days off. They said they might be able to give me the days off, but as soon as they give me the go-ahead, then yes, I will be there. All right. If, they, hey, if you can only get three, four days or two or three days, then if whatever days you can get, get them, then come on down. Okay, then that's perfect. Then I'm going to talk to them about that on Monday morning. All right. Shalom. Shalom, sir. Shalom. I, I know that many of you people don't understand what I just got finished doing. You don't understand or understand. You don't comprehend what I just got finished saying. I know you don't. I know you don't. But hey, that's all right. That'll work. Pass down ain't playing no games with you. I promise you that. I'm not going to be torn around with you people. No way, shape, fashion, or form. You folks hear me? Man, I tell you one thing, we're going to find out if Pastor Dow was a real true servant of y'all or not. we all going to find out. Keep your opinions, keep your personal feelings and emotions, keep your own judgments and everything else. We're going to see. One way or the other, we're going to see. All right, brother in me. That's my brother right there. Brother Enmy, call number 347. Pastor Dow, come on with it, Brother Enmy. Talk to me. It's right here. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. Hallelujah. <laughs> Man, Pastor, I love that kind of talk, Pastor. I love it. Straight up. <clears throat> talk like a, you talk like a man. You know what I mean, brother? Well, it's because I am. I promise you that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to the king. That's what I'm talking about, Pastor. Pastor, um, you know what's amazing, Pastor? Oh, man, I'm also here for Rocky and Shalom Aleichem, Dal Ben Yehuda, and Shalom Aleichem to all Israel, to the 12 tribes scattered abroad and the strangers grafted in. That's what I'm talking about. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, my brother. Go ahead. Say on. 
I'm amazed as to how Esau, Edom started black and now they all white. That's oh, amazing. oh, you wait till I, I hope that this book will have the audacity to take this up because I'm going to rip him from one end to the other, my brother. I know you all, Pastor. I can't. I can't wait. I mean, I already did. I've been doing my own investigation. I just did my own research, and they, they in trouble. They in serious trouble. I did the research already, Master. They in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, son. Hallelujah, Pastor. I just want to tell you, Pastor. I'll be. I'll, I'll be on the land uh, in about a week from now. Oh, well, a couple of days from now to get my hands dirty. Yeah, we know. We know. We got you. Yes, sir. We got you, my brother. He's one of those, All right, Pat. You, you know, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Hallelujah! Can't wait to hug your neck, Pat. Hallelujah! Can't wait to hug your neck, I tell you, brother, Henry, man, you keep it. You keep that spirit. You're the same spirit you got. You keep it, brother. You keep it. You you operate just a little bit different, but brother, I'm telling you, you got the same spirit that Elder Austin had on him. Yes, sir. I mean, it's just you. This is what the most I'm yeah. doing with you, brother. Just stay the course. I bless you, Rock. All right, my brother. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shalom. Brother Freeman, calling number 540-540 there in Virginia. This is Pastor Dow. You're going to serve me to the radio broadcast. I can help you that brother Freeman. Come on, talk to me, brother. Uh oh, hold on, hold on, brother Freeman. Hold on, hold on. It moved up on me. All right, now you can talk, brother Freeman. It moved up on me. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. How you doing? Man, I'm doing. I've been up ever since 1.30 this morning. If you want to count that, all right. But other than that, I'm doing fine. <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a all right right there. Come on, you know your pastor, man. We're going to drive on, man. We're going to get it done. I know you're going to get it done. Hallelujah. We're going to get Hallelujah. it done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, love you, Pastor. Bless you. Bless you straightway. Um, all the saints scattered abroad. Got yeah, my family here. They want to say something to you. Hey, talk to me. Hey, Shabbat Shalom, children. Shabbat Shalom, wife. Hey, I got your picture. Nadia, I got your picture. Thank you for your picture. Yes, sir. And you're welcome. Hallelujah, Lord yes, to the Hey, Nadia, do you and the, you and the boy y'all y'all enjoy y'all time with me and Sister Carol? Yes. Sir. <laughs> hey, brother Freeman, you know I know y'all didn't but hey, I'm talking to the people out there. Uh, brother Freeman and his wife, uh, they were there in uh, Virginia. They were there in Virginia. Uh, they were there in Virginia. 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 They I went up to Brother Freeman. I said, Brother Freeman, you don't mind if I take the children with me, do you? Oh, no, Pastor. And uh, how many people you know are going to do that? That's going to allow their children to go with their pastor and the pastor's wife. And uh, they stayed with us the whole day long. And, man, we had a good time with them. Uh, am I telling the truth, Brother Freeman? You're telling it, Pastor. You're telling the truth. <laughs> Hallelujah, Pastor. Hey, I appreciate that. And uh, they, they remember that like it was yesterday. I they, they love yesterday. the time they spent with you. Yes, sir. They love every bit of it. I, I still hear about it. Had a good uh, time with like, their pastor, didn't they? They had a great time with you. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, sir. They sitting here, they, they sitting here smiling now. Well, you can see the smile on their face. Man, I love them. Pastor, man, I love y'all, man. I love you, Pastor. Um, everything's going well. Um, and I'm, I'm trying to get the family down. If I'm out here driving these trucks, I'm trying to get the family down for Tabernacle. Uh, hey, uh, at least come down and uh, get some time. Yes, sir. Uh, so you you still on the road? Yes, sir. I, I'm actually, um, I take the test on Wednesday, so y'all put that prayer out for me. I, I know I'm a pastor. Done. Um, I got the test Wednesday, and um, you know, so no telling what's going on right after that. But trying to get things together for Tabernacle, make sure the family gets down. 
Hey, and, uh, <laughs> you know, hey, I want you to uh, keep me posted. Keep me posted, uh, myself and Sister Carol, because uh, I want to make sure we see them down here, all right? Ah, uh, bless you, Christ. Yes, sir, I will. Uh, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. Just keep me posted, and um, um, if, if you don't get it, you know, you call the dining hall, you don't get in touch with me. <clears throat> get in touch with Elder Doug, all right? Elder Doug, he's already informed, well informed, and he already know, all right? I know he know, yes, sir. Bless y'all, man. Um, man, I love y'all so much. And, uh, y'all have a blessed night. Bless Shabbat. Glory to the King. Bless you, Pastor. Glory to the King, my brother. Shabbat Shalom. All right, Brother Lucius. There he is. Uh-oh. In New Jersey. Brother Lucius. Call number 609 there in New Jersey. Man, we all up and down the East Coast. This is Pastor Dow. You know, serving to the radio broadcast. How can I help you, my brother? How you doing there, Pastor? Oh, Brother Lucius, I'm doing fine, man. How are you, my brother? That's the real question right there. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, Pastor, hanging and doing what I'm supposed to do. Hallelujah. Serving the king. I was just calling. Yes, sir. Pardon me, sir? You serving the king? Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I, I didn't have much, Pastor. It's been a while I didn't call in, and I uh, just wanted to say Shabbat Shalom to the family. Love hearing your voice. Hey, uh, brother Lucy, are y'all coming down yes, Tabernacles? Well, I will be. I um, the family might not be able to come down. Uh, with sister Melissa, mom is not doing too well. She's oh. around to really to attend to her. Hey, so um, that's the right call, Israel. That's the right call. Let let the wife go in to tend the mother. You you doing right? Uh, yes, sir. Anyway. You come on down. Yes, sir. Hey, we, you know we got you. We're going to hook you up. Yes, sir. I'm planning on heading to uh, Kentucky for about a week or so before and uh, spend some time with Brother Randy and the family over in uh, Kentucky. And then uh, from there, we probably head over to uh, straight, to Straightway. All right, Brother Randy. There's yeah. your brother right there. Make sure you got that guest room hooked up for Brother Lucius now. Hallelujah. That's our yeah, brother. I think he did. I think he did. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pastor, I also wanted to encourage you. Um, I also wanted to encourage you, Pastor, because uh, we, we, you know, with all these different attacks and uh, so on, um, it, it reminds me of uh, Yeshua going through all, you know, go, without sin and had all these accusations, all these, uh, all these people against him. Yeah. You know? So just uh, I wanted to encourage you to stay strong, stand strong, and keep doing what you're doing. Brother Luce, I appreciate it. I appreciate everything, brother. I appreciate you, your support, your prayers, the whole nine yards. You know I do. You know I do. Thank you, brother. I need yes, it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More than anything, you know what I require, uh, man? I require my name being lifted up before the Father, brother, because I may be out there speaking, and that's all I am, just a megaphone. That's it. But it's the people that are behind the scenes that are supporting the megaphone. It's the people behind the scenes who works that cannot be seen. They are the ones that are going to receive the greatest reward in the kingdom of Yah. I know that. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Well, there's a lot of us. A lot of us uh, was jacked up for a long time, Pastor, so and uh, I, I, you know, I, I could speak for myself and say, you know, thank the Father that you know. Uh, I had the heirs to hear, and uh, he chose me. And uh, you know, I, I I I think I speak for a whole lot of people in saying that uh, the Father has you know taken us from a whole bunch of uh, mess that we were in, well, and uh, bringing us uh, in the, in this way. I want to encourage everyone to just stay focused, stay encouraged, and uh, you know. Uh, um, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. The Father is really working in this ministry, and I don't know, <laughs> I don't know anywhere else that I have no desire, actually, Pastor, to you know, even entertain some of those folks that you know out there doing uh, what they do. You know. Yes, sir. It's just, it's just total. Uh, it's just total corruption, and uh, and uh, 
you know, it, it sort of kind of confuses a whole bunch of uh, people in listening to them. Yeah, true. But uh, that's, that's all I have, Pastor. Shabbat shalom to the family and Shabbat shalom to you, and we look forward to hearing from you. Um, mañana. All right, brother. Hallelujah. <laughs> mañana. Hasta mañana. Yes, sir. Did I say it right? Uh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. I think I said it right. Did I say it right? Hasta mañana. Hey! Y'all people don't know it. You better ask somebody. But man, I'm telling you, I... My dialect is, is improving all the way across the board. You just don't know it. Que pasa, Holmes? <laughs> I'm going to keep that one now. I've been saying that one for years. Woo! <laughs> all right, where we at right now? All right. Uh, hey, y'all people better get familiar with that voice, Brother Lucius true Israelite, in whom there is, listen to me, no guile. You ever heard that before? Hallelujah. Where we at? Oh, Pastor. I see Pastor in here. Alright, Pastor. Pastor Corey. Call number 816. Man, I just called it. No water because the queue. Man, it's long night, but there he is right there. I see it. Pastor Corey. Hey, you know Pastor gonna jump all of y'all. Call number 816. This is Pastor Dow. You're going to serve me too. There you go, broadcast. How can I help you, Pastor? Talk to me. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Israel, Pastor Dow. My family is straight. Well, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Pastor, I just uh, was calling in to uh, share a little bit. You know, you know, we, we here just being diligent and, you know, ain't, you know, ain't been making a lot of noise, but just working, you know, to get things in order because, you know, the Father's really allowing us to get in position and just take up a lot of the things that we pattern after what's going on and what's set before us. And we are blessed, Pastor. And we just thank you for it and uh, all this listening. If you ever been a straight way and you just take in just a bit of what you see and just really, you know, strive for a holy life, I'm telling you, the Father just blessed beyond anything you can imagine. We blessed, Pastor. But uh, just want to tell you that and, uh, you know, not only that, I just wanted to point something out, because I, I had not really been on the Internet for, you know, for a while because of what we've been doing, getting up early in the morning, working, then I'm heading out the door, going back in the city, working. And, but I had a chance to see this Jedediah Malik guy in the videos that you and the brother posted up. And it just finally just brought it back to me from, last week of study that we was doing just looking at preparation for the last days and what it takes for those who are the true saints yeah i want to leave this thought with all of israel i want y'all to understand that we are following the true way of the messiah we're following in these are true people we are we the true people because here's here's the understanding and i'm, I'm gonna just point something out in acts that we can, you know, take and look. And this is real short. But the understanding come when you understand how this ministry operates. You understand how we all are ascribing to what is right for us in this day. Now I'm going to go to Acts chapter 2. And I'm going to read verse 38 and 39. And I'm going to point something out. But I want you all to understand this. See, the Father is not playing because, number one, the flesh had been so defiled and the enmity is separated between the spirit and the flesh anyway. Because flesh has always failed. The flesh had made the law none effect in the deed that it had done against the Father. So here, here's what's being said in Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized, and be baptized every one of you, you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, Pastor. For the promise, listen to this, Israel, mm -hmm. the promise is unto you and to your children and to all to all that are far off, even as many 
as Yahweh, our Elohim, shall call. See, the thing that, well, all of these folks get the rambling off on the internet and YouTube and running their mouth and talking about things that they ought not to. Our job was to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, because this is the one true promise that's going to separate us from every individual on this earth. And this is what's meant for us to show that the Father is who He is in this earth. Because when the Spirit comes into us and fills us, then look, look at this. Look what it says in verse 40. And with many other words did He testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. You know why he's saying that? Because those who had heard the word at that time was only interested in receiving this Ruach HaKodesh that was going to change the course of Israel through the Spirit. And so don't get caught up in all of this lost conversation that all of these folks are having. It is just useless. You're wasting your time. When I heard the video, I said, you know what? My job is to proclaim the word, and it's only being proclaimed to those who got ears to hear. So everybody else, I ain't, I'm not going to worry about you because I'm saving myself from this untoward generation by doing what the Father called me to do. And anybody else that show up at the front door, if you ain't talking about this, if you ain't serving y'all, and you ain't about what the Father's business, you better, I, I suggest, you better leave as quick as possible. Because it's not going to turn out well for you because the Father is encamped around His people. And not only that, it's, it's that the Father has allowed us to really figure out who we are in Him. So guess what? Ain't no one? weak soldiers over here. Did you say one? Not one. So, Pastor Dow, you be blessed. And I definitely look forward to making a comment behind... What you're going to do is I know you're going to light it up, and I look forward to it. And the last testimony I want to share is that, you know, the work is still being done. You know, even even this. You know, I just looked at a, a sequence of events. You know, we had a real powerful Sabbath last week, and just urging people to get into this desiring of the Holy Spirit. And I tell you, you know, I wasn't even around, Pastor, but they was at... Uh, Brother Leron House, Sister uh, Mariah, and uh, Sister Kim, and Brother Steve-O, and uh, Brother Leron's wife, Sister Heidi, they were all at the house, and Sister uh, Mariah had fasted seven days, and she had been crying out for months, you know, for the, to be filled with the Spirit. And I tell you, they cried out while after she came out of her fast this past Monday, and I, t I tell you what, you're talking about a, 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 the, just the spirit coming and taking over. She was filled in spoken tongues. Sister Kim was filled in spoken tongues. Sister Heidi was filled in spoken tongues. And the father just came. He just steady edifying what we see right here in this book, in the book of Acts. And I know we do this, we do well, Pastor. Hallelujah. I know we do well. You got yes, it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Glory to the King. And yes, God is still filling his people with the Ruach. Hey, I want everybody to listen to me real quick. Listen to me real close. Ah, precious Sister Wendell. Brother Steve had just gave a message that, you know, Sister Wendell, she never gets sick. Never gets sick. She's been hit hard for some reason. <clears throat> I want everybody to join in with me right now as we talk to heaven. We need our sister to be healed. <clears throat> Whatever the enemy is trying to do, you need to join in with me right now with Sister Wenda. Y'all hear me, Israel? Hallelujah. Glory to the King. On behalf of Sister Wendell, Father Yahweh Almighty Yahshua, we come to you as humbly as we know how, knowing that you are the healer and the deliverer, knowing that those of us who keep the commandments 
and those of us who walk uprightly in your sight in repentance. We humbly request right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I loose right now holy angels with healing in their wings right now to go and touch Sister Wendell right now where she's at. We curse every foul spirit that is attacking her body right now in the name of Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. We spoil every single work that you have right now. And that temple of Yah to be raised, sanctified, holy, cleansed, purified, and righteous right now in the name of Jesus. We burn out all, every single wicked spirit of iniquity, sin, and transgression right now. And I loose in the name of Jesus healing upon her body right now. I touch and agree with all of the Israelites. One can put a thousand of fight, two can put ten thousand of fight right now in the name of Yahshua. You said it, Father, that whatsoever we ask in your name, you will do. Father, I am not only command, I am demanding it of you to heal our system. You tell us to declare thou that thou mayest be justified. You tell us to put you in remembrance at your word. You told us that whenever we call upon your name, that you will perform and you will heal. I expect a healing right now in the name of Jesus to give you the glory and the power and the magnificent strength that we know that you are by the resurrection power of the blood of Yahshua Messiah, Jesus Christ. I command right now for her body to be healed right now in Jesus' name. I burn every sickness, every disease, every bacteria, every infection right now in the name of Yahshua. And I command it to die right now in Jesus' name. I command for the resurrection of life and the spirit of truth in her right now to be strong and to be strengthened and to be restored tenfold right now in Jesus' name. Let this be a testimony of thy wonderful power and thy truth and thy word. In the magnificent name of Jesus, we promise to give you the glory right now. We praise you because it's already done. We bless you, Father. Hallelujah. I thank you. We worship you. And we thank you, Father, for already doing it. It's simply because we ask, because we are his right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Be healed right now. Be glorified. Behold, right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We touch and agree all Israelites from one end of this planet unto this earth to the other. She is healed right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Hey. What I'm talking about. Woo! It's done. All right, all right, all right. Woo! What we got going on in here? Woo! Mercy me. Where we at right now? All right, man. We got a lot of calls in the queue here tonight. Let's go to North Carolina. We're going to make it out to the West Coast for long. Let's go to North Carolina there. Call number 919, 919, North Carolina. This is Pastor Dow. We're going to serve you there. Your broadcast, how can I help you? Man, bless you, Sister Wendell. Come on, North Carolina. Who is this? This is Rashad. Rashad, how you doing, my brother? Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, sir. I can hear you talk to him. Doing good. How's everything? We all right? Come on with it. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Come on. Okay. Can you come to touch bases with you? And wish blessings out to the brothers and sisters down there in Tennessee. 
let you know what, uh, me and my wife will be coming down for Tabernacle. Good. Y'all talk with Elder Doug, right? Y'all talk with Elder Doug? No, we spoke, we spoke with uh, Elder Beck. Yeah, Elder Becker. That's Elder Doug. Yeah. All right, looking, okay, forward, okay. Look, yeah, looking yeah. forward to seeing you. Yeah, um, it's, been, it's been a little while, but we've been trying to get a little, you know, seeing people on the straight way, you know, the best to our knowledge as of now. So it's going good with the plans. All right. Um, I, have, I have my wife here. She would like to, you know, greetings. Sure, come on. Are you there? Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat What's your name? Brielle. Sister Brielle. Sister Brielle. We're looking forward to seeing you and your husband, all right? You are so glad. Be glad. Hallelujah. You too. Hey, y'all speed, safe journey, all right? Take care. All right. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. All right. Let's go to Alabama. Call number three one. No, three three four. Alabama. Wait a minute. Sweet home Alabama. Where the sky is always blue. Oh, sweet home. Brother James will know that one. I guarantee you, Brother James will know that one. Sweet home Alabama. <laughs> Sister Christina, Alabama, three, three, four. This is Pastor Dow. How can I help you? Sir, I'm just calling to make myself known once again. I called in uh, the other day to the Sisters program, and I introduced myself a little bit. I just want to make an introduction to to you. I've been watching your seeing your um your videos for for quite a while. And just, you know, learning new things, learning new things that I never thought I could learn. Hey. Or, or just getting from me, you know. I've been struggling with my paranoia schizophrenia with everyday, everyday things. And, I mean, I'm not married. I'm, I'm not married. I'm single. I've never been in a relationship or anything like that. I, um... I just want to make myself known. Well, sister, it's a blessing to hear from you. Glory to the King. Who told you that you were a paranoid schizophrenic? Well, I, well, um, the doctor told me that I was paranoid schizophrenia. Um, diagnosed last year. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. How old are you? I'm 26, 26 26 years old, 27. All right, we're going to see what Christ has to say about that. How about that, sister? Oh, yes. That damn devil is a liar. Yes, he is. You stay in touch with us. You hear me? Oh, yes. Yes, I will. You're going to be a case right here, boy. I'm telling you, he's going to have a testimony for Jesus like never before. You understand, sister? You're going to get this. You get it? Yes. Glory to the King. Thank you for calling in, my sister. I love you. Love you too. Shalom. Shalom. That damn devil's a lie. I tell you who's schizophrenia. The damn devil's a schizophrenic. That's who the damn schizophrenic is. I bind you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, you lying devil. You're going to get your butt off of my sister right there in Alabama. I promise you, we got something for you. I promise you, we got something for you. We're going to get you. We're going to come right for you in your kingdom. Let's go to Oregon. Grand Pass, Oregon, Sister Marjorie, call number 541 Oh, I see Pastor Tatum in there. We're going to get you next, Pastor Tatum. Call number 541. This is Pastor Dow. We're going to serve you radio broadcast. I can help you, Sister Marjorie. 
Pastor Dow, sir. Thank yes. you so much for taking my call. Yes, ma'am. Um, my dad would like to talk to you. All right. Do you have a moment for him? Sure. Let's hear it. Just, just a moment, please. His name is Donald Freeman. All right. Hello, Pastor. Bless you. Bless you, sir. How can I help you? Pastor, I'm very deaf. I'm calling to introduce myself. Okay. My name is Don Freeman. I'm Marty's dad. I've been very impressed with what changes you obviously have made in Marty's behalf. And I sincerely hope you will be of some help to me. I'm 92, and I'm, I'm going to have to be asking you a few questions often now. And I appreciate if you would say some prayers for me for, so I can hear you better when I do listen in. Thank you very much. Well, hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank Will you. Do. Will do, Thank sir. You well, you're welcome, Sister Marjorie. Thank you. Shalom. Shalom. Y'all hear that? That is um, Sister Marjorie's dad. He's 92 years old. The only thing he's asking is to hear better. That's all he's asking. He wants to hear better. Father, right now, in the magnificent name of Yahshua, you're the only one that can touch the old ears. You touched Abraham when he was 90 years old. 100 years old, gave him strength, gave Sari strength. Nothing is too great for you. Touch the ears of Brother Freeman. Open up his ears. Grant him the understanding, Father, because of the lifestyle and the commitment of his daughter that is shown towards you. Recognize this, Father, and esteem this as fruit of righteousness in your eyes. I command for those ears to be open right now in the magnificent name of Yahshua. In Jesus' holy name. Amen. Man, I tell you, we getting down tonight. Heaven is answering tonight. Glory to the King. Heaven is answering tonight. Now, wait, wait, wait a minute. I know I saw Pastor Tatum in there. What happened to Pastor Tatum? Bro, Shane, what happened to Pastor Tatum? I know I saw him in there. I see a Pastor Johnson. That ain't Pastor Tatum. Anyway, well, let me go on to the next one then. All right. I think this is my, my faithful brother, Brother Paul, better known as Brother Ugly in Toronto, Canada. We're going across the border. Brother Ugly. This is Pastor Dow. You want to serve you with radio broadcast? I can help you, my brother. Shabbat Shalom, my pastor. Shabbat Shalom, Israel. Ah, oh, my brother. You just don't know, man, how much I miss you and hugging your neck, my brother. I miss you dearly. Not as much as I miss you and all the saints of straight away, pastor. Hallelujah. I miss you all very much. Say on, my brother. Everybody's uh, listening. Hope I won't be long. I'll try not to be long, Pastor. I know there's other people waiting in the queue. Um, I did have one question. Uh, this actually came up around dots, but um, if I can ask a, a quick question about a scripture here. Sure. I'm going to go to Isaiah, Isaiah 9, verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Uh -huh. Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty Yah, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Now, Pastor, I've always believed this is prophesying of our Messiah. Um, someone was trying to debate me saying this is speaking of King Hezekiah. And that does not make sense to me. But I know that you're more learned than I am, so I, I thought I would... I would pick your brain and, and get your opinion on this on this verse. Brother, that is none other than the king himself, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. That is exactly who it is. Uh, that is Yah 
Wow. Manifested in the flesh and justified in the spirit, seen of angels, and received up in the glory. That is exactly who the prophet Yeshayahu was talking about. That is the Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Um, also want to wish all the saints a wonderful uh, piece of trumpets coming up. And uh, also just ask all the saints to pray for you and for the ministry. It's obvious that we are doing the Father's work. Not only do you have these fools like the, the Jedi uh, Malik. <laughs> you. Yes, sir. He's accusing you, here's the joke, he's accusing you, you know, of being an Edomite lover and fraternizing the Edomites. And then you've got new tutorial, Zach Bauer, on the other side, accusing you of being a black Hebrew Israelite. What? The one is condemning you for loving whites, and the other is claiming that you hate whites. <laughs> the devil is alive, that's all I gotta say. You <laughs> both of them on their YouTube videos. I tell you, that is confusion, isn't it, my brother? <laughs> like you, you know, at least if they can all accuse you of the same thing. You can't be both. You got that right, my brother. You got that right. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, anyway, they're going to they gonna see us ruling in the kingdom, my brother. That's one thing they're going to see. They're going to see both of us ruling in the kingdom. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, Pastor, I won't keep you. Uh, again, I just wanted to encourage Israel. Uh, also, want to give a testimony. The Father is good. He is blessing me every day. Keep the commandments, saints. Obey your Father. And uh, just for the feast, I'll give you a little uh, blast of the shofar. By all means, let it roll. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Shabbat Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Shabbat Shalom. Isn't that a mess? I got one person, Zach Bauer, and both of these people that I can remember, both of them, Zach was put on the map by me, and uh, Jedi, Yelai. How can he be a Hebrew when these people have a trouble? You know, they have trouble with the letter J. And he gonna start his his name with a J. Wouldn't it be Yedahiah rather than Jedaiah Malik? Anyway, it's too confusing. I mean, these folks off the chain. Anyway, it's amazing. Thinking about this kind of give you a headache a little bit. Where are we at anyway? Uh, Ohio, call number six one four six one four. This is. Pastor Dow, then we go on to Texas to Brother Greg. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. time out, stop, stop, wait a minute. We're gonna put all y'all on hold. We're going back to Canada to call number 705 to Ontario to Brother Steve. This is Pastor Dow. You on the Straight Way Truth Radio broadcast, how can I help you there? Brother Steve, my brother. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom, Rusty, Sister Wendy. I feel much better. Thank you very much. Praise Jesus. Thank you, thank you. You feel better? Oh, yes, I do. Oh, we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet, my sister. I'm glad you're feeling better. We're going to hit it again. Shabbat morning, too. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to the King. <laughs> Ah, whew. heaven is answering tonight, Pastor. <laughs> Father is awesome. <laughs> oh, he is. Uh, oh, yes. Wow. Man, man uh, I hear something going on with one of y'all, man. It, I mean, it, it, it comes to a stop. That's it. We, we going on from there. Hallelujah. And, and with um, Sister Marjorie, with her uh, father of 92 years of age. Yes, sir. Uh, beautiful. Just, just a wonderful night, Pastor. Glory. Hey, I'm going to sing a song, all right? 
yeah. You want to hear it? Love to hear it. All right. Yes, sir. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Hey! That's all I want to sing. I want to sing that part right now. <laughs> Oh, look. All the power. He's got huge power. Thank you, Father. Ah, uh, you know I love y'all. You, you, you know I do. Oh, we love you, Pastor. We love all the saints. Glory, we miss you. We so we miss you, Sister Carol. What a beautiful time we have every time we get together. And oh, uh, I true. just can't wait. <laughs> It's true. Uh, it, it's a comfort you have with family and and beyond the family that you have, like in flesh, like that comfort that like, gets a little off. Right? <laughs> but this is family. Oh, is, uh, hallelujah! <laughs> Full of joy. Hey, I want you to shoot me thank an email you, in the morning, and I want you to let me know exactly what's what what has gone on. With Sister Wenda. Shoot me an email, okay? Because I want to address this in the morning. Yes, sir. Absolutely. All right. I, I love right. you. I love you, my brother. My sister Wenda. You know I love you, my sister. Love you too, Pastor. Yeah. All right. Thank Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Israel. By this, all men shall know that you are my disciples by the love. That you have one for another. And that's just the truth. Let's go to Illinois then. There's a Pastor Johnson. 708. 708. This is Pastor Dow. You're going to serve me two radio broadcasts. How can I help you that Pastor Johnson? Bless you, Pastor. Can you hear me? I can hear you. This is John Tatum. How you doing? I don't know what Brother Shane is doing. I know that. Now, I know that voice from anywhere. Pastor, how you doing, my brother? <laughs> That's not, man, I, I'm just, I was sitting there listening to Brother Steve, I fish about Shalom and all of the saints and, and, the, and the people that straightway, um, all the saints uh, scattered abroad, but I was sitting there just listening to, to Brother Steve talk about, you know, how it is when, when we're around you, and I remember when you came up to Chicago, and uh, my wife and I had you guys in the car, and we were taking you back to the uh, airport because you was about to leave. And uh, when you guys got out of the car, uh, my wife and I, we just we just had the little the sigh of, man, our heart burned while you were there with us. So uh, <laughs> I understand what Brother, what brother Steve is, is talking about. Uh, you talked to us nothing but about the Word and about the Messiah all while you were up here. From the time you got off the plane to the time uh, we dropped you off, and uh, I just just miss everybody. I can't wait to see everybody for the Tabernacles. We're coming down and bringing the board down, and, and uh, uh, we're just excited about what the Father is doing. Glory. And, um, I got my, yes, sir. Yes, no, sir. go ahead, Pastor. Say on. Yeah, I got I got my mom here with us. Um, the devil's just a liar. You know, he, he's just flat out a liar. Uh, the Father has brought her uh, literally back from the dead. Yeah. And give him glory, praise, and honor for it. So she was listening to you tonight. She said, I think I want to call in tonight. And I said, well, Mama, we're going to call in and <laughs> give you an opportunity just to, to, to greet the saints with, with Shabbat Shalom. And uh, if you want to share your testimony, you can. If you just want to uh, talk a little bit, we're going to give you that opportunity uh, to do that. So I said, let me call right now and uh, give her an opportunity to just to testify to the glory and the honor and the praise of the Most High. You know, up here in Chicago, we, we, we're seeing people get healed, delivered, and set free. We had a sister, maybe a couple of months ago, she got healed from an incurable disease called shockadosis. That was the very same thing that Bernie Mac died from. But this sister came and with the doctor's report, and she said, I've been suffering with this for 16 years, 16, 17 years in her body. And she came and said, but I went and got a blood test. The doctor said, he don't see it no more in my system whatsoever oh, yeah. at all. Hallelujah! 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 We rejoice with
with them that rejoice. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> and, and, and we're seeing, you know, seeing the Father do uh, uh, things that only He can do. And because we know that He's good, we give Him all the praise, we give Him all the glory, and we give Hey, if you don't want to praise Him with me, I tell you to hold my meal. I praise Him all the time. <laughs> You got that right. Glory to the King. You got that right. Glory to the King of Israel. Yeah. So, so, so we're excited, Pastor, of, of, of all that the Father is, is doing, and, and I'm so glad that I have has gotten a chance to, to, to cross one another. Uh, it's, it's all the Father is it's, it's in His will, is in His plan that He allowed my path to cross with yours, and, and I give the Father praise and glory and honor for it. I'm not lifting you up at all, but I'm lifting Him up because I know that He's the one using you. And I know he's the one that has called you. That's right. So he, you, you obey his call. You're able to to, to, to reach out and, and to uh, do what you're doing. And we thank the most out of y'all for you. I truly do. So I'm going to give mom an opportunity just to say something to you. Sure. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom, Mother. Bless you, Mother. Thank you so much. I'm just feeling it. I'm just feeling happy. I feel rich in the Lord Good. and the fact that he has touched me and touched my life is just wonderful. Hallelujah. And uh, I just wanted to hear your voice. Uh, um, my son is so excited when we're together and we're praying and we're magnifying the Lord uh, with, uh, you know, just the blessings of praise in our lives. And I just wanted to, to, to say that and to tell you that I just love to hear you. And I love it when I hear your wife over the phone. She she, she talks just wonderful. Uh, and that's what I, you know, wanted to let you know. I'm getting stagnant now because I'm looking at the radio and at the, at the computer and I said, what? I'm on a broadcast. <laughs> I'm not really manifesting myself like I should, but thank you so much. I just thank you for the prayers and thank you uh, for praying for me when I was so sick. And yes, ma'am. I know that God prayer. Yes, ma'am. You're yes. welcome. So, Thank, thank you for so much. I, I've got a testimony, but I'm going to hold those for later just to say hello to everybody here. God bless y'all, and Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Mother Tatum. That's, that's Pastor Tatum's wife. I mean, mother. Mother. That's Mother Tatum. You know, she yes, does sir. have a testimony. Man, does she have a testimony. Come on with it, Pastor. Yeah, she, she, she saw a lot of different things when she was um, coming back and um, she I got a chance to tape a lot of the things that she um that she saw. Right. You know, when she was uh, under the coma, you know, the coma for about four days. And uh, we just declared the word of the Most High Yah, just like you told me to do, you gave me the instructions. And we did exactly that. And uh, sure enough, she came out of the coma and uh, I, I was just so glad, you know, that to see her. And that, that's for those people that don't believe that the power of Yah is real. I said, let me have Mother call. <laughs> you got <laughs> that right. I think I'm playing around. She, she's alive and she is well and, and, and getting stronger every day. And uh, I, I know the Father is not through with her yet. Uh, I believe that, he, he, you know, the work that he has begun, he's, he's well able to perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. So, so we just uh, believe in Father's going to continually to heal her and, and deliver her and bring her out. Uh, she said she got a chance to be in the presence of the Most High Yah. And the first thing he told her was, my name is Yah. <laughs> and that was one of the things she, she didn't believe at first when I was trying to tell her, the mom, his name is Yah. His name is Yah. So he told her what his name was. Uh, another thing she said she saw it, I had those... Um, outfits that Mother Bullock made for me. And um, I, I, um, my wife has, has an outfit sort of similar to that, but it's, it's a dress. And my mother, when she saw her walk past, she said, wait a minute, those were the same outfits that I saw y'all have on. And the people who was with them, they all had on those long shirts 
with those squigglies at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Mama, you ain't seen my outfit. She said, no, but that's what they, they had those things at the bottom of, of, of like a long shirt. They were, they were things like squiggly on the bottom. So I went and put, my, put the outfit on that Mother Bullock had, had made for me. They said, yes, that's it. That's what they look like. <laughs> yeah. So, so, I, so I believe we, we're right on time. We're right in keeping uh, with the kingdom. As, as, as his prayer says, let thy kingdom come, let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So I believe that we are, you know, we're right on point and we're right stepping right with the king. So we give the Father praise and glory and honor. I'm just so excited, Father. I can't wait wait to see you and uh, see the rest of the saints and just rejoice. We got a whole week to just rejoice and celebrate the king and uh, for the tabernacles. And I just can't wait to, to get there. Hallelujah. Bless you, my pastor. Bless you. Hey, bless you, pastor. Love you. Love you too, Love my brother. Thanks too. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Yep. Hey, Pastor Tatum, Mother Bullock is here. I know you texted me earlier today wanting to, uh, to give me a number and stuff, but hey, call me tomorrow sometime right after service and I'll put you in touch with it and you go ahead and make your request known. Glory to the King. Brother Greg. Texas, call number 832-832. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straight to the Radio Broadcast. I can help you out, Brother Greg. Hello? Hello. Hell is low. Hey, hey this is Pastor Dow. This is Pastor Dow. Hey, uh, I had an opportunity to meet with uh, Brother Greg. My name is Derek Pleasant. Uh, it's an honor to talk to you, sir. Oh, it's an honor, man. My, my honor, my pleasure. How can I help you, son? Just want to let you know, uh, Greg is a soldier, and uh, we had oh. a fellowship last night. And uh, one of the things he emphasized to me was about wisdom and having patience, and and absolutely taking in the Holy Spirit and the Son, and understanding the, the mission that we're on. And I just wanted to commend you to let you know that here in Texas and the things that you've done and the brothers that follow you, they understand the truth that he was able to help me get to that place or I should say when I watched you and when I called, I talked to Brother Vernon actually, he introduced me to Greg. The word is absolute. So you have to be absolute for Christ and when you're looking for that truth and when you want it, if you ask the Most High, he's going to give it to you. But I'm saying that mission, that statement that you have, that premise you've built, it's here, and I just want to let you know I appreciate that opportunity to have to meet brothers that understand what we are right now, what we're doing, and what the Most High has granted us, because he's waking us up. Sure. And, and you know, b before before I actually, you know, just have opportunity to talk to him, I researched you. I, I've been doing my own research, and there was an awakening, but I see how many people attack you, but what they don't understand is, is, Christ is not a respected person. It's not about color. It's about who lives for the most high. Right. It's a heart matter. And that's what it, that's the issue that people are not understanding. And I was a tribe to him and I was sharing with him that lion and men don't hunt together, meaning the tribe of Judah is a lion, meaning you're waking up that fierceness that we're supposed to have. Speak the truth and be absolute no matter what anyone says, how the attack goes, and, and stand on that wisdom that he's given to us. So I'm just sharing with you, I appreciate that opportunity to see a real truth to come out of Christianity, come out of paganism, to see brothers and sisters united and understand what the Most High, who is I am, that I am, is given to us to have opportunity to come back to Him. Because we're in these days and these times, and you got to discern. God didn't say anything about love. He said love, but He also talked about what He hates. Right. And some people keep that line blurred. Precept upon precept, line upon line, a little here, a little there. Don't take what you want. Take the whole entire thing. So either you're living for them or you're not. And I think that's the issue that most people run into. Another thing they don't want, judgment is rendered to those who's not living in sin, but who can speak it. And if you convict it, don't take the personal. All we're doing is deliver you the truth. If you're invited into a conversation of fellowship, 
and if someone speaks a truth to you, a lot of them say they live for the most high, but they don't. They want to do what they want to, and when you are absolutely in your position, they don't want to hear that. Then they want to cast judgment on you. But that's not fair, but neither do I care, but I'll tell you the truth that you invite me to the conversation. So I guess what I'm getting at is it's only a few that ram that they actually understand. So in listening to you and watching you, I've seen you. It, it, the, the, the thing that drew me to understand where you were coming from, you were always absolute in that truth. I could respect a brother like that. I, I got the most high, you know, to give me that understanding, but I respect your position. I respect the brothers that are here that gave me a wealth of wisdom and knowledge to let me know I'm on the right page. So even though I'm kind of new to this, I just want you to know you have a soldier on your team here in Texas also. And I'm here to learn and I'm, I'm wanting to grow with you as well. So uh, I just wanted to make an introduction, sir. Hey, let me tell you something, son. <clears throat> you follow Brother Greg. He'll lead you the right way. Yes, sir. Um, brother Mitch, yes, sir. you pay attention to what yes, they sir. say, brother. I'm telling you, they got it. As young men um, that are strong in the word, like Timothy, they got it. And if you want to know the way, they do. you just listen to them. You follow them, um, and, and they'll lead you the right way. You hear me, son? Yes, sir. I do. All I right, do. my brother. In so, order to lead, you got to follow, but I appreciate you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Man, ain't y'all good. Man, I can't remember. Everything's so mixed up now. I know I got that one, got that one, got that one. Hey, don't y'all get disappointed if I don't get to some of y'all tonight. The call of queue is getting really long. I get, I got to cut this thing off before long. Um, let me get to, where we at? Brother Rich, call number 615, 615, Dining Hall. It's Pastor Dow. You know, sir, we choose radio broadcast. I can help you, Brother uh, brother Rich. Uh, shalom, al Mariah. Ah. Good night, good evening. Shalom alaikum. I'm glad you're home. Yes, sir. Thank you, uh, my right. brother. Uh, well, you know, I used to affectionately refer to you as the Traveler of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm being told by YouTubers that you are a social misogynist with Edomites. Isn't that amazing? Now that's something. It commit miscegenation. Yes, right? You know, but it. Yeah, but you know, it's amazing that uh, that uh, 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 you know a social misogynist with Edomites and his uh, social Edomite brethren can pray a prayer and get results that quick. It, and they can't get Hallelujah. no results at all. I mean, yeah. Well, that's y'all working with them. Uh, I just want to say thank you for upholding uh, patriarchy and truth. Oh, and, uh, I want to say I want to say thank you for uh, your excellent treatise with uh, Brother Cody on Corban and dealing with his, with his mother. Yeah. That was excellent. Uh, and uh, I was blessed to hear <laughs> I was blessed to hear Mother Bullock uh, when she spoke, uh, and uh, kind of got to chuckle about all the all the eyes out there looking. You know, uh, any man should understand that he knows what he's looking at, and approach a woman of that character uh, with uh, sobriety and holy fear to begin with. Right. You know? Right, but uh, she she is an excellent example, and carries herself with with integrity, and and I'm blessed. Uh, but you know what she said, what you said, the prayer that we prayed, and everything going on in this was exactly what was on my heart today. I was uh, reading in Matthew uh, 23:10 where Jesus supposedly said, "Call no man on earth your master." Right? Yeah. Okay. This could be another one of those uh, conflicting interests in the in the, the Sora and the New Testament. Yes, sir. This Matthew twenty three nine. <laughs> you go ahead. Yeah, yeah. And then in First Timothy uh, six two, it Paul says, "And they that have believing masters." So yes. now you got one saying acknowledging that something exists, and then the other one saying, "Don't call him that." And see, this is where we have this Christian. Uh, doctrine that comes in that we're all free agents, we're all equal, and, uh, you know, and this yeah. is why women can rebel against their husbands, you know, uh, brethren can treat their elders or even their fellow brethren 
ways because we all are, you know, we have an equal independent citizen status. Yep. Right? And uh, so anyway, uh, it's amazing because only masters can get the results that this minister gets. True. Right? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Well, anyway, those are just a couple of things I wanted to say and just bless you and thank you for uh, your labor of love, Pastor. All right, bless you, my brother. Shabbat shalom, shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. All right, New York, Brother Cody. Call number 716, Pastor Dow. You on the Survey Truth Radio broadcast. Hey, I can help you that, Brother Cody. Shabbat shalom, Pastor. I'll try to be as quick as possible. I just... I praise the Most High, and I just thank Him for this night. I thank Him for every minute that He allows me to live. I thank Him for every minute that He allows me to fellowship with any of my brothers or sisters. That's right. Pastor, just any of these people, any of these wicked people, any of these people that got anything to say, they got nothing. They got nothing, and that's it. I mean, just going right to the book. The wicked seek to slay the righteous at all times. Yep. At all times. And they got nothing. And that's all they could think about. You know what? It's just, it's sad. That's really all I wanted to say, and I just want to ask one question, Pastor. Is sure. it okay if I sing real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Pastor. It's just something that I've had my whole life, and I just I thank the Father for letting me have it. Holy, 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 yeah. Hell of power and might Holy, holy, holy yeah. Hell of power and might Share my to the king. Blessings Bless. to you, Pastor, and blessings to uh, the rest of the saints. Shabbat Shalom, Pastor. Shabbat Shalom. Bless you, Brother Cody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Lord shalom. to the king. Louisiana, call number 318. 318. This is Pastor Dow. You're on the Straightway Truth Radio broadcast. I can help you down in Louisiana. Louisiana going once. Twice, three times a lady. <laughs> All right, Louisiana's gone. Nebraska, call number 308, 308. Brother Eric, this is Pastor Dow. You know, straight with you radio broadcast. How can I help you that, Brother Eric? My beloved pastor, I just wanted to call in and tell you how much I love you as always. And I, I just uh, wish you a blessed and feast day, you and the other pastors and elders, and that my family scattered abroad. That you just have a blessed time, and I can't wait to hug your neck and be there in person. Hallelujah. Hey, be glad to see you, my brother. More than happy to see you again. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Well, I'll just end with saying that Yahweh will bless you and guard you. Yahweh will make his face shine upon you, and Yahweh will show you favor to you. 
Yahweh will let your faith upon you, and Yahweh will give you peace. Give you peace. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Won't be too long, brothers and sisters. We'll be in Feast of Tabernacles. Trump is coming up this weekend, kicking off the fall speech. Uh, fall feast. Glory to the King. Hey, Brother Reuben, Alabama. Call number 205-205. It's Pastor Dow. You know, Street Truth Radio Broadcast. I can help you there, Brother Reuben. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Ruben. I can help you, son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just wanted to call in and, you know, give him a voice heard. I hadn't called in in a long time. And, you know, you got my brother, Brother Victor, down there, Tennessee, with child. So. <laughs> yep, yep. He's here. Just wanted to. <laughs> He's here. Yes, sir. <laughs> but I just wanted to call in and just, you know, give him a voice heard. But, you know, what's been going on with... The, the, the Jedi guy, whatever his name is. Yeah. I mean, this is a disrespect. I mean, I, I, I gave Christian pastors more respect than what these so called Hebrews or like guys are, you know, giving to, to our ministry and to our pastor. It's sad, isn't it, brother? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I almost took me back to some of my old Jesus days and fucking years on. <laughs> Oh, believe you me, brother. I believe you me. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> I was watching uh, the, the boxing video when you were training some of the, the younger brothers, and I was like, I was, I was showing my wife and my boys. I said, man, look at those moves that the guy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> they come back. You know what I mean? They come back after, you know, it's been a long time to, I got a lot of dust on these things, bro. It's been a long time since so I've knocked some dust off these things, if you know what I mean. But once you get it, you never forget it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I'm not going to keep your passing. Uh, <laughs> Shabbat Shalom to, to all the saints. <laughs> all right, bro, Ruben. Shabbat Shalom, my brother. Good hair you. Yes, sir. Bless you. Bless you. Oh, man. Let me see. Did we go to Lucy? Yeah, we've been there. Been in Brother Cody, been in Brother Steve. Uh, been in Brother Lucius, been in Brother Freeman. Good. Let me see what else we got. Uh, da, 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 da. We'll make sure we got everybody. Good. All right. Hallelujah. Tapping out. Glory to the King. Hey, I bless each and every last one of you. Um, hope you all was edified in some way tonight. We thank the Father for everything he's done for our sister Wenda there. Um, and not only that, but Pastor Tatum's mother as well. <sighs> we got to fight to fight the faith, brothers and sisters. We have to lay a hold of eternal life. We must. We have to. In the midst of this wicked, perverse generation, there's only a few of us left anyway in this society. So we have to maintain the integrity of the Most High God and the precious blood of Yahshua. We have to touch and gather and agree and maintain this uh, until the King come. But until then, we have to be holy. Because without holiness, no man shall see the Most High God. I want y'all to be encouraged, all right? Unless y'all in the sweet presence and strong, victorious, and mighty overcoming name, y'all show how much shit. See y'all Shabbat morning be the Father's will, and I believe it is His will. 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. The King is coming. Shabbat Shalom.